You know what I find interesting? Short-lived states. Exactly. We've covered the territorial evolutions of Germany, Poland and the USSR on this channel extensively. But what about border disputes between Italy and Yugoslavia? A key issue was Trieste. It eventually became known as the Free Territory of Trieste for a short while. Keep watching. Hey, good to have you back on the channel. If you're happy to be new, I'm Stefan, I'm a Dutch history teacher. I cover history on location for you. And if you find it interesting, then consider subscribing. Also hit that notification bell. The city of Trieste was part of Austro-Hungary and had developed as a commercial center with its port. Most people living there were ethnic Italians, but during the 19th century, many Southern Slavs, Croats, Serbs and Slovenes came to the city. As the Austro-Hungarian Empire crumbled after the First World War, the Italians who fought on the side of the British, the French and the US moved in to seize control over the city. Trieste belonged to Italy's territorial expansion after the First World War. As Mussolini rose to power in Italy, ultra-nationalism also came to Trieste and that hindered the non-Italians severely. As Italy surrendered, in 1943 the Germans moved in and in May 19. In 1945, the Yugoslav partisans took control over the city and shortly after the Western Allies, in this case New Zealanders, also arrived in the city. What was going to happen to Trieste? I mean, it was part of Italy, but Italy was an Axis nation that was defeated by the Allies. But do notice, by now the Cold War had kicked off and the Western Allies, the US, they wanted to keep communism as far away from Italy. British General Sir William Morgan proposed a partition of the territory and the removal of Yugoslav troops from the area occupied by the Allies. Yugoslav leader Josef Broz Tito agreed and thus the Morgan Line was created. In June 1945 the Yugoslav troops withdrew. Negotiations then began but that didn't went well. Neither side was willing to give in. The Italian claims they were seen as unjust since Italy was one of the Axis powers. And furthermore, many Southern Slavs lived in the area and then there were geopolitical reasons and of course economic ones since Trieste was a port city. And neither side was willing to give in. The French suggested to make a free territory of Trieste. The former structure remained vague and the argument between the Cold War blocs continued. The US proposed an independent Trieste controlled by the UN. The USSR proposed a joint protection by Italy and Yugoslavia. The French proposed an independent region ruled by the Allied powers. In 1945, Stalin criticized Tito for his occupation of the Trieste region, which had created a crisis with the British and the Americans. He also felt the Yugoslavs were too radical in supporting the communist rebellion in Greece. Most fundamentally Mentally, perhaps the flamboyant, intense personality of Tito himself irritated Stalin, as did the fierce loyalty the Yugoslav leader had among his followers. Communism could only have one hat, Stalin thought, and set out to put Tito in his place. Some incidents occurred which left several people dead. This could have caused a spark and turned the Cold War hot and caused World War III. But the tensions de-escalated. In 1946 the US proposal for a UN protection was approved and the UN Commission went to investigate the details. In 1947 the Free Territory of Trieste was established. This was a protocol in the Treaty of Peace with Italy. Problems remained. How was a governor to be appointed? The USSR rejected anyone proposed by the West and vice versa. The UN had to decide over this who directed it to the Italians and the Yugoslavs who had to work it out themselves. Not much success was achieved. One important aspect we should not overlook was communism in e Italy. The Communist Party was very strong in post-war Italy and the West feared something similar occurred in Italy as it had done in Czechoslovakia where the communists had seized power. The Yugoslavs then proposed to swap Trieste for Gorizia further up north which was rejected. Another important development was the 1948 Tito-Stalin split where there was an ideological dispute between the two communist leaders and they both went their own course. The USSR therefore didn't back Yugoslavia and its claims on Trieste anymore. How are things to run in Trieste now? It was governed by democratic principles. The governor was the head of state and appointed by the UN. Running of the territory was done by a council that was elected. The free territory was divided into two zones. During the 1954 London Memorandum, Zone A returned to Italy. By now the West didn't fear Yugoslavia anymore because there was an illogical dispute between Yugoslavia and the USSR and by now 
now Stalin was dead. Zone B together with some additional border towns went to Yugoslavia. This was formalized much later by the Bilateral Treaty of Osimo 1975 ratified in 1977. If you'd like to know more about other short-lived states well you can click right here and if you want to make me more and better content well consider becoming a patron. You can also support me via PayPal the links can be found in the description. Thank you so much for watching and ciao from Trieste Italy.